Papa Joe, what's up? How you doing? Thank you for joining. I figured I'd show you my uh, griddle. All right, let me show you how I have it set up. And I have a quick question to ask right off the get-go before we even start cooking. All right, beef and broccoli, beef, we're gonna go on this side. We're probably gonna go medium because I cut them really thin. Daddy Dutch, thank you. Michelle Lee, 911, thank you. Meat cranium, meathead. What's up? This one I'm gonna keep low. We're gonna go fried rice, but I'm gonna take my time. But before we start, let me show you something. Let me ask you a question before we even start. Sunglasses one or sunglasses two? Sunglasses one or sunglasses two? Go ahead and vote and then we'll go from here, all right? And I'll tell you while you're voting, I'll tell you why we're making beef, beef and broccoli tonight. So you ever wake up in the morning, you get in your car, you listen to the radio, and the first song that comes on is stuck in your head all day long? Well, I woke up this morning and Lyle from No Hippie Barbecue pops a video, uploads a video this morning, beef and broccoli, and that video was so awesome. Beef and broccoli stuck in my head now, so I have to make it or I'll be dreaming about his video all night. Doxy Lover, how you doing? Thank you for joining. It's been a while. I wear sunglasses at night. All right, let me see. Let's see. Papa Joe says two. Lynn says one. Daddy Dutch says one. Leprechaun, two. Meat Cranium is two. Leprechaun, two. All right, two wins. I'm glad it won because... It's my new one. This is the old one. I don't know if you could see right here. The heat has melted the tint because I wear sunglasses when, when I'm on uh, when I'm live. See, my new sunglasses. All right. People always ask me where I wear sunglasses. I tell them three three reasons. One, because it looks cool, right? Brings out the confidence. Two, the sun sets on the west and my house faces the beach. So the sun, every time I cook dinner, it's like beaming on my eye. And three, something about safety third. I'm not sure what that means, but Tom from Tom's Tinkering and Adventure, I'll put his link below and right here on the right. But at the meeting, when we were both in the Navy, in the meetings, right, when the big dogs are in there, he always finished it off with safety third. And I never did had the boss to ask him <laughs> what safety third means. So if you could um, click on his channel and find a video or something and ask him, hey, what does safety third mean? And hopefully Tom can give you the answer. Because I'm not going to ask him. Because I know if I ask him, he's like, what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> so... Trying to ask him what it means. All right, let's get this thing started here. Let's see. You know what? We always start with protein first. Let's go with fried rice first. The family's mix. Some wants white rice, some wants fried rice. So I'm not going to make that much fried rice. Just a little bit. Alright, so I didn't have... <clears throat> Where'd the rice go? Ah! Oh! This can't be happening. Oh! Alright. Give me one second. You know what? Forget it. I'm taking you to the house with me. Come on. Hold on. Taking you to the house with me. Come on. You won't believe it. I forgot the... Forgot the rice. Who the hell forgets to bring the rice out here when I'm supposed to be making fried rice? So let's go in the house. I was going to leave you guys on the griddle, but...
And there's the rice. Never trust a skinny chef. Thanks for joining. Who else is here? Go ahead and comment so I can see the screen. <laughs> I know Doxy Lover is here. I thought I saw Tom, but I'm not sure. Oh, all right, let's do this. I got the rice. We're going to make some fried rice. Should have started with the protein first. All right, so I didn't cook it overnight. And so, I'm just gonna cook it right now. God, this thing's hot. Ah! I know the rules like, hey, make sure you Keep it in the refrigerator overnight. I get it. But I wasn't thinking of making fried rice last night. All right. Beef, yeah. A little bit of butter. And a little bit of flyover. Ah, we're at the eight minute mark and I haven't even finished anything. All right. Let's quit playing around. Get serious. Rules are made to be bent, or should I stretch the rules? Oh, man. I try, I try to do my best to make every video like under 20 minutes, but. You know what? Let me put some butter down just to help it. Just a thin, 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 thin butter.
Put some carrots on there. Give it some color. And while we have carrots, let's throw some uh, green onions. Love me some green onions. And I'll add the soy sauce at the end. But look how beautiful this rice is. Now with a look at that, does it really matter if you cooked the rice last night or an hour ago? <laughs> All right, let's get this beef thing going. And I want to be able to spread it out, utilize every inch of my griddle. Now you could probably season it with salt and pepper. All right, like for now, we're using this. Give it some uh, stir fry oil. Okay, let's spread this out and let it cook for a little bit. And then we'll start talking about vegetables. Let me see. Look how beautiful this is. That's some amazing shot right there. I learned this from uh, Meathead, Meat Cranium. It was the one that taught me the flyover. Let's see. Oh, let me show you the broccoli. Ah, look how beautiful this broccoli is. Look at that. They're like baby broccoli. Isn't that great? Let's play with it.
and make sure I've, I make some room here. I got a feeling I might have to stack them on top of each other. How do I want to do this? Give me one second. All right, there we go. Let's throw some butter. All right. I have some garlic salt and a little bit of lemon. Let's see, I need my magnet. I gotta use my magnet. Let's get back on the meat. We'll let the broccoli do its thing. Take all this junk out. I know some people will think like all this stuff I'm scraping off. Oh, don't scrape it, it's flavor. I'll try telling that to my doctor. Give it a light coat of uh, rice vinegar. I didn't have any oyster sauce, but I had some fish sauce, so hopefully that's going to be good enough. If not, we're in trouble. Just a little bit. And that's good. Yeah, if you have oyster sauce, that might be better. And then we're gonna finish it off with some soy sauce. Down, let it touch all the griddle. Check up on our rice. Still beautiful. Push it on this side. 
break this on this side. Let me show you what's going on. I know it seems like not much, but there's our beef. There's our rice. Yeah, this is our broccoli. Our baby broccoli. Look how beautiful that looks. All right, we're almost done. Most likely it's almost time to make a plate. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit, give you guys a better view. Cooking broccoli on the Blackstone's not easy, but if you could pull it off, it's great. I'm still learning it though. I'm still learning how to pull it up. Alright, I'm going to turn it off. I think we're done. Ready to make a plate. All right, as always, I'll make two plates and you decide which one becomes the official thumbnail for this video. Let's do this. You guys ready for a plate? Let me make the plate first and then you guys can vote, okay? Let's see how we do this. Where is my serving spoon? I brought a serving spoon just for this moment and I don't even know where it's at. Right, let's just go with it. Ready? It's up to you if you want to add soy sauce to it. I'm going to leave the soy sauce out. Ah, 
Look at that. Meat Cranium says, one, you, you, gotta, you gotta give me a chance to make the second plate too, just to be fair. All right, so that's one, right? So that's going to be uh, plate number one, thumbnail number one. All right. And let me show you what thumbnail number two looks like. Thumbnail number two is two scoops of rice. Just white rice. Give it this one. Woo, look at that beauty. that and of course rice seasoning give it on the rice give it some color all right while I do a flyover you guys vote Thumbnail number one, fried rice, or thumbnail number two, white rice. Go ahead and vote, and I'll do a flyover. Juan Ramos says, looking good, dude. Thank you. Mike says, number one with sriracha. Papa Joe says, number one. Mike64 said, number one. Susie says, both. Backyard cooking with... M and B says one. Doxy Lover says one. Daddy Dutch one. Juan Ramos. Dog meat. <laughs> meat Cranium says dog meat. Papa Joe is one is colorful. That's true. I tried to give it some color. Try to give it some color, but it didn't work out. So you guys like number one, huh? I like that too. Alright. Let's let's crown it. I got something this time. I can't prepare. So one, came prepared. We are crowning number one with sesame seed. There we go. One wins it. Hey, just want to thank you guys all for joining. I really appreciate it. I'm about to hit the 30 minute mark. Oh, I hate myself. I shouldn't have done it. All right. Thank you all for joining. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.